everybody, Dean DeCosta, the Search Authority, and we're going to look at a new tool here that can provide us a plethora of information for those of us that need to uh, help people with relocating, cost of living, all that. It's called Numbio. So here we are. We could select the city. So what we're going to do, because I'm a Seattleite, I'm going to pick, select Seattle, Washington, and we have our choice. We can look for cost of living, crime, climate, food prices, gas prices, health care, pollution, property prices, quality of life, taxi fares, and traffic. Pretty cool. So let's just look at what we get initially. Initially, we get this. Okay, four-person uh, family monthly cost is about $4,091 without rent using our estimator. A single-person monthly cost is about that. The cost of living in Seattle is 12.66% lower than New York. Rent in Seattle is also lower than New York. Cost of living is 15 out of 478 cities in the world. Seattle cost of living index is 87.34. Okay, well, let's see what we got. We have meals they break down meals uh, in expensive restaurants, meals spent, McDonald's, or yeah, McMeat, McMeal at McDonald's, <clears throat> something like that. Domestic beer, imported beer. Well, wow, that's something I definitely want to know. Then you got your markets, buying food. Then you got your transportation. Uh, then you got utility bills, base, electric, and heating and cooling and all that. Sports and leisure. Children. I mean, this is pretty in-depth. This breaks it down. This is really quite interesting. And it tells you about other nearby cities. Um, it can do other languages. You can get a newsletter. I mean, this is actually pretty intri <coughs> intriguing. I actually, let's see what else we have here. The cost of living indexes. You can cost of living. You can do cost of living in comparison. Let's do that. <coughs> let's pardon me. So let's see currency. We're gonna say is Seattle because it helps. You know, I'm Seattle. And let's pick another city. Let's pick uh, Los Angeles, California. Let's compare. I already know the answer, by the way. All right. A McMeal McDonald's or equivalent combo meal is nine dollars in both places. Gee, what a surprise! Now this is interesting. A meal for two mid-range restaurant, three courses, eighty dollars in Seattle, seventy-five in LA. One would think that means LA would be cheaper, but when you go down here to Cappuccino, yeah, it's a little more expensive. But then when you go down to Coke Pepsi, it's a little bit cheaper. Interesting. So overall, this is an interesting thing. But now you get down to the markets, and things get a little more interesting. It appears like it is a little more expensive to buy food in LA overall transportation a little more expensive in LA monthly utility bills a little more well actually no it looks like it's cheaper in LA the base heating is a little bit cheaper yeah over, I, the, the the prepaid mobile stuff is a little bit more but one penny uh, sports and leisure yeah, Seattle might actually be a higher cost of living than L.A. Well, who would have thunk that? Now, let's see. Consumer prices in L.A. are 9.78% lower. Yeah, so the consumer prices, rent is lower. Um, excuse me. Consumer prices, including rent. Rent itself is higher in California. And local purchasing power is uh, lower in Seattle. So that's interesting so these are the things where you're you know overall it's actually you're better off in la who would have thunk that wow seattle's come a long way i always thought we were cheaper just prove some so again you got property prices you got quality of life indexes premium in information which obviously you pay for jobs you got everything this is like a one-stop shop cornucopia of cost of living information um so it's pretty good now from what i understand this is done via a combination of obviously whatever's free on the web available to be grabbed um government information as well as some crowdsourcing which i like because um you know that means you're getting more of the real deal not the not not what people are you know not what the government might be saying alone they bring it all together give you your averages and this is where we are um i have actually done a little comparison with other tools and this thing is right in the general area it's, it, i mean the margin of error is pretty small the thing other thing i like for those of you that deal with people outside the country is you get to put it in different uh you can put it into different currency which might help if you're talking about reloading somebody from say uk you can put it in uk terms so that they understand it better uh well i don't know what it is now it was euros i don't know what they are now since they left the uh, european union but i think you get the idea really cool really simple and here's the most important part free love free free is good um, so there you go. That's it. My name is Dean DeCosta, the Search Authority. This is Numbio. May the source be with you.